this to start creating assets on the right side for you. Because this is my superpower. Everything I grew up with my parents, the things that I learned in public accounting is understanding how people can transition what they know, their expertise, what they're doing by real estate to be able to create those assets that create a lifetime of financial freedom for you. And that is what I want for you. I work with all my clients. I work with programs to help people take that one first step. And then the second one's easier because those assets become forever employees of yours that are working for you without the personnel program problems. And when we talk about assets, what kind of assets? You know, there's businesses. We're going to talk a little bit about that. There's paper assets, stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. Certainly, we've had quite a roller coaster in the last um, couple of years. Real estate, owning investment real estate where your tenants are paying you. Intellectual property. That's another, another thing that my husband and I are, we really excel in helping people take what they know and take that and convert it into books or programs so that you have the ability to make money from it even while you're sleeping, digital currencies now. Always thinking of the various types of assets. Now, a financial planner will tell you to diversify across assets. They're usually talking about paper assets, stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. When I'm talking about diversification of, about assets, I'm talking about across each of these asset categories. Own some businesses own some paper assets, own some real estate, have that intellectual property so that you have the ability to withstand these fluctuations that we're seeing in the market right now. So let's talk about businesses. There's so many options. You can start a business from scratch. You can buy an existing business. You can buy a franchise. There's network marketing. There's so many different ways to start a business. And when you are an employee, sometimes you start the business on the side because you want, don't want to walk away from your paycheck. But rather than getting a second job or working overtime, think about starting a sideline business. If you started a side business, share it please in the chat because that's how you start building that financial independence. And when you build a business, successful businesses really are, it's like, a, I like to make things simple. Let's talk about a three-legged stool. You have your idea, your product, your market, maybe it's a book, a product, and then you've trained yourself to be really good at sharing it and selling it. But that's only two legs of the three-legged stool. So the third leg is your network, your platform. And that's where most people fail. They don't build the foundation, just like the foundation of your finances, the foundation of your business to make sure it's strong so that your successful business can be sustainable, scalable, and saleable. And part of that is understanding the elements that go into making a strong business. And this is what I learned through public accounting, through building my own businesses. You know, so many times we focus on selling, but we don't have, we haven't built the foundation of the business. And you have your mission, which is really the problem you solve or the need you serve. That's what keeps you focused on the long term. Your leadership ability, the team that you have, that you have people on your team who are strong where you are weak. And then understanding, you know, at the top of it, it's deliverable. That's your product or service, but it's only going to be successful if you have the right legal foundation, the right resources, whether it's money or other partners, having strong relationships understanding that you can have the greatest product, but if you don't have the marketing and communications, people aren't going to find you. And then those business systems, that's what allows you to scale. That's why I work with companies all over the world, helping them identify their weak links to strengthen them so they have the ability to continue moving forward. And it's so important to understand when I say, you know, how do you go to the next level? When you start building something, you build that foundation, it gives you the ability to have choices later on. My most recent book, which I hadn't met, mentioned yet, just came out last year and I, I'm just so pleased with it. It's with Inc. Magazine and we hit uh, number two on Wall Street Journal, I think, and um, USA Today. 
It's called Exit Rich. It talks about building that foundational business and paying attention to the six P's, you know, the people, your products, the processes, your business systems, proprietary is that intellectual property, that goodwill of your business and your patrons, your database. So many people today in building a business, they get so excited because of the people they have in their networks on social media. You know, they have, you know, a million followers on Instagram or 50,000 on Facebook, and that's all fantastic. But that's lead generation. If you hear nothing else, understand it's important to invite them home, to nurture them back to your database, because your database is an asset, right? They, so you want them in your database so that you have the ability to communicate with them. And then, of course, your profits. And if your profits aren't where they're supposed to be, it's usually one of these other P's that need to have some work. 